humans. We're fairly complicated, but biologically speaking, we're just one of the many species that inhabit this world. There are ducks, fish, horses, and even donkeys, but not mules, because nobody likes them. Not really. But on a more serious note, why not mules? I mean, they exist, they eat, sleep, poop, and live like any other animal. So why not mules on the prestigious list of species? Well, it's complicated, which really means scientists aren't sure. See, in biology, scientists typically define a species as the largest group of organisms that can interbreed and produce offspring that are capable of reproducing again. So by this, a horse is a species, and so is a donkey. But when they mate, they produce a mule, which can get it on with another animal to make a mini mule. Here, the system works. But sadly, biology isn't only comprised of horses, donkeys, and mules. Keep searching and you'll eventually run into some issues. For instance, the offspring of a female bottlenose dolphin and a male false killer whale is a wolfin. So when in 1986, a female bottlenose dolphin gave birth to a female wolfin named Kakai Malu, biologists suspected that Kakai Malu would be sterile. But instead, Kakai Malu gave birth to three calves. The first time to an Ainan calf, the second to Bohai Kealoha, and the third time to Kawili Kai. But this problem is only the tip of the iceberg. There's also the issue of prokaryotes, or single-celled organisms like bacteria. These organisms don't interbreed, so the definition that didn't work before will work even less here. So how do we tell the difference between prokaryotic species where looks can be very deceiving? Here is where we use the amazing tool of genetics. By measuring the similarity of gene sequences, specifically the 16S ribosomal RNA sequence, biologists can determine whether prokaryote is a new species or just one of the others. Prokaryotes that have similarities under 97% are considered a new species, while those over 97% are not definitive and have to be checked with DNA to DNA hybridization, which is a whole less amount to own. But sadly, no. Even this whole system of categorizing prokaryotes is issues, and not all scientists are okay with using it. So in review, mules can't make baby mules, there are wolfins in sea worlds, and prokaryotes need genetics. Plus, we have no idea what a species actually is. Like we just saw, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to follow us on Facebook and Twitter.